Hello everyone, Bear here, and today we just got a new season of Fallout 76, Season 3, The Scribe of Avalon released, and along with that, Bethesda released a pretty cool little community calendar uh, that's talking about some of the future stuff we are going to see. Let's hop right into it. So today, along with Season 3, they released this cool little community calendar uh, that talks about some of the features we are going to be seeing in the coming months uh, from January to March. And it actually has some pretty interesting things in it. So in the first half, we have the live now, uh, which is obviously what's live currently. Uh, you know, camp shelters, the light allies, the new season, uh, all that good stuff. But in January, we're going to be getting some quality of life updates which I'm sure you've heard about, uh, the stash size increase, the pit boy management stuff. Um, but along with that, we're going to be getting some events in January. So from January 7th to the 11th, we're going to be getting a double score week to help you level up that scoreboard. From the 14th to the 18th, we're going to be getting a purveyor sell for the mystery pick. Honestly, I kind of hate those. From the 21st to the 25th, we're going to be getting a double XP weekend. And then from the 28th to February 1st, we're going to be getting a script surplus weekend. And this is something I want to talk about because honestly, I really don't like this. So people for years now have been floating the idea of increasing the daily script limit because, let's be honest, 150 script a day to turn in just is not enough. There are too many trash legendaries out there that people want to get rid of. People have been asking for an increase in the script limit for years now. And a lot of people, including myself, thought in January when we were getting the quality of life updates that we would actually... Uh, you know, get some script increases, get some uh, more cap stash increases and all that good stuff. But it looks like that's not going to be happening. Now, this script surplus event honestly seems like a cop out. Um, it seems like Bethesda just isn't listening to what people want. Now, don't get me wrong. This is a good thing because giving players the ability to turn in more script and, you know, collect more script and turn more into the purveyor. That's a good thing. But doing it this way in these timed events, I think, is just a really bad way to implement it. You have to give them rewards that they want to do, and people like grinding for legendaries, and the best way to keep players engaged is to let them grind for those legendaries and reward them for doing so. So, even though the script weekend thing is good, just up the script limit to 300, to 500, to 1,000. People would go ecstatic if that happened, uh, but... Maybe this is just Bethesda dipping their toe in the water uh, and testing out what more script would be like. Hopefully that is the case and we can get a higher script limit because that's really what players want. In February, not much is really happening in Fallout 76. There's going to be a double score weekend. There's going to be the hunt for the treasure hunter mole miner dudes. Uh, there's going to be another Foshnot event, which honestly I think players are pretty burned out on by now. And then towards the end of February, we're going to be getting a Gold Rush Weekend, which I assume is just that instead of being able to turn in 20 Treasury Notes over the weekend, you'll be able to turn in 40 Treasury Notes. And don't get me wrong, that is a good thing, but let's be real, people just want increases on what they can do every day. People want to be able to use more script, they want to be able to collect more gold, they want to be able to hold more caps. If Bethesda can finally listen to the players and actually add these things into the game, people are going to be so much more happy with the game. So in March is when we start getting some good stuff into the game again. We're going to be getting a Season 4 update. We're going to be getting a new scoreboard. Uh, we're also finally going to be seeing these special loadouts added into the game. Um, if you're not mistaken, earlier last summer they said that uh, loadouts were going to be coming in December, which that was obviously pushed back. Um, but it's good to see that they are still going to be coming eventually. In terms of events through March, it's pretty simple. There's going to be a double caps weekend. There's going to be another purveyor cell. There's going to be a script surplus weekend. And then there's going to be another uh, hunt for the treasure hunter mole miner dudes. Now, my guess is that probably around March, we're going to be seeing the Fractured Still update. That's going to be when the Season 4 update happens, uh, when we're going to be getting these special loadouts and stuff like that. So I would imagine that with Season 4, we're going to be seeing Fractured Still. Now, I think that is a little bit a ways off, and I think players are going to be kind of uh, burnt out by then. Um, but hopefully when Fractured Still comes out, it's going to be pretty big and, uh, you know, give a nice, fresh breath of fresh air into the game and honestly based off the artwork on this march tab uh, it has brotherhood of steel dudes on it 
I can only assume that they're probably shooting for March uh, for the Fractured Still DLC to go live, but you never know, they might do it a week early like they did with Still Dawn. Anyway guys, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more Fallout stuff if you want to, and I will see you all in the next video.